I mean, I think that you get into this thing where you're listening to somebody talking about homeless people that don't know what they're talking about. And you could be doing that in a police department and you could be doing that in a security patrol. And everybody's got to listen to somebody talking about homeless people that don't know what they're talking about. And that's where you get screwed up because, um, because that person, that's, that's a conversation about so many different things. Because that person in charge of, who's, you got this person who's leading the discussion, right? And, and that person does not know what they're talking about because they're talking about that opportunity. You know, how everybody creates this opportunity with homeless people. You know what I mean? And, um, and, um, and, and how this person has not really solved the mystery of like how many people have stolen his property that not having solved the mystery, like how many people have stolen from this person, his property, um, how many people have, um, have gone looking for an opportunity for, with this person with, um, organized crime to take advantage of his social resources um, to make use of their own social resources you know that's not even really a conversation you know what I mean and um, it's just like that there's no way that you're ever going to get to the bottom of this thing and so the next thing you know you're just talking about a homeless person that does not know what he's talking about and does not know what he's doing because that's the easiest way to talk about that homeless person right That's what he looks like after somebody steals his wallet. You know, that's what um, that's what the street crime has to say about the homeless person. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That's what the street crime has to say about the homeless guy is that he does not know what he's talking about and he does not know what he's doing. You know. Um, because they stole something, somebody stole something from this guy, and um, and it creates this like phenomenon, you know, like in the in the um, in the story of the Good Samaritan, you know, why does the priest keep walking by like the priest? It's like the story about how the Good Samaritan is over on the other side of the road helping the um, the injured man. Nobody can figure out why the priest goes passing by. Nobody can figure out why the priest goes walking by. Because that's the element of society that, um, that, that, that does not believe in the Christianity and their influence, you know? They've brainwashed the priest. The priest forgot who he was. He forgot that he was a Christian. And he went passing by because this was another person that doesn't know what he's doing and doesn't know what he's talking about. That you could play a trick on somebody, even if it was a priest. When they get out here stealing from these people and messing around with these people. And that's what Jesus Christ says about the whole thing. It says, you know, those guys could play a trick on somebody, even if it was a priest, said Jesus Christ. And, um, and, uh, so, I tend to feel like I get, I'm getting targeted because you're either going to, um, you're going to catch up with me like, um, as a Christian and you're going to put me in touch with like Drew, or you're going to put me in touch with Nell, or you're going to talk about how that's just a complete waste of time. Right. And, um, if this kind of thing was a complete waste of time for me, but it's not a complete waste of time for you. You see what I mean? That we get like a little bit involved with me personally. Uh, athlete, high school athlete, uh, gifted intelligence. And I just, I don't know why everybody keeps getting involved with me personally sometimes because I'm not the smallest guy. Um, I'm Anglo-Saxon. Um, I think... I, you know, because I'm an Anglo-Saxon high school athlete, you know, politics. And that's one of the reasons why you want, want to watch out for organized crime is because it's political with me. They're being political, you know, and if they're going to 
be political and take this whole thing on, then they're going to look, it's going to be like organized crime because they're just going to, um, they're going to do everything that this pickpocket wants to do, you know, with me. You know, they're going to do everything that this pickpocket wants to do with me when he's trying to move me around the neighborhood or, or whatever the heck it is that he gets into with me. Um, yeah, just, just that it's, it's, you know, it's, it's funny that I see a lot of other homeless people out here and, um, and that's, that's the one thing is I'd like to say, you know, probably these other homeless people have been stolen from, you know, and that's the, that's the other thing I might say is that if I'm not the only one, if it's all of us out here, then they're just assuming that they are being conditioned, you know, by society with all their missing property. They're just taking it, um, taking it for granted. Like when somebody stole their, um, while taking it for granted, when somebody stole their cell phone, taking it for granted, when somebody stole their picture of their, um, sister, taking it for granted when somebody stole their, uh, telephone, uh, telephone numbers. Um, and, uh, so I, I don't know. I don't really get into it. What, what kind of a situation everybody else has going on with that out here. Um, but, um, So, so the good Samaritans over on the other side of the, sh of the street with the, with the, with the guy. And, and so what, what happens? Like, what does the priest do? If anything, he's, he's going to, he's going to change his mind and there's going to be two people helping the person. You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, it's not the one about the priest who, you know, he's going to find out what's going on and he's going to, um, it's not this one about the trick, like that they're playing a trick on me and that they do a good job of playing a trick on me. And, um, and so what you need to see is like, I guess that, um, you, you need to see yourself as somebody who looks at that guy. In my case, you could say to yourself, you know, we need to get that guy on the telephone with Mel Fordenberger from the East Coast. And, and, and see if you could get through that without talking about yourself and, and your own personal opportunities, even if that homeless person was a complete nobody. You know what I mean? That, uh, the Good Samaritan, he's, he cannot, you cannot steal from the homeless person like that. You just, you just can't. You won't. You'll lose, you know, in the long run. I mean, that's how to get, you know. I don't remember. If you read in the Bible, you don't see if it says smite, you know. And it doesn't necessarily say smite. But, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, um, that the homeless person is victimized. But the homeless person is still the same integrity. You know what I mean? It's the homeless person has been victimized, but you're talking about the same integrity. You know what I mean?